hi and welcome to visual basic tutorial of a google map let me show you guys how it works i'm going to enter whatever postcode in there and let's look for let's say yeah and click on search there we go guys so what i'm going to do now is to take you straight into visual basic development environment and we'll put one of these together let's do that now Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial of a Google Map. So I'm going to start by clicking on Create New Project. Okay, the next thing is I'm going to give my project a name. I've just called that Google Map. And select Visual Basic. Make sure you select Windows Forms Application and then click on OK. Okay, now that the form is ready, the next thing I'd like to do now is let's come into the toolbox and in here i want to select as follows menu okay now that my menu is on board that's my menu there you see this very this menu here i'm going to change that to a text box there we go there that's the text box though you can't see it let's go straight to the property that's the property there let's increase the size of that text box to about 600 oh that seems to be too much for maybe 400 yeah that is it right there and now i'm going to change the appearance of it let's say border style the border style i'm going to change that to fix single there so that you guys can see it and the next thing is you see this very form let's come right down here where we have window state i'm going to maximize that window state will become maximized right and if you want you can just enter something in there let's say google map there we go now this text box let's change that to instead of the default name i'm going to change that to txt that will be let's just call it search that's it that's the name that there now the next thing I want to do is come right in here let's select a button grab that button paste it up there and this button I'm gonna paste it right beside the text box and let's give the button a name and let's just say maybe go as this sesh and in here btn search so that's the name of that or maybe we should just change the goal to search yeah get rid of that that becomes search there now on the form itself i'm going to now add the following let's go back to the toolbox here and i need a web browser there we go that's it web browser in there paste that in there that's my web browser so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to dock the web browser here just click on this small rectangle there can you see it click on that and say dock in parent container that's it there now all then we need to do is double click on this button now we're in the coding area, the first thing I would like to do is to import the following. Let's say import as in telexen telling you what to do. System. Okay. The next thing is dot text. Double click on that. There we go. Text. And up here underneath the public class form one, I'm going to declare the following dim. Let me just call it postcode as string equals let's say string dot empty there the string is empty now inside here i'm going to let's declare another variable that's going to be just an ordinary local variable so in there i'm going to say search a string search let's call it string search that is that is it string 
message as a new string builder. There we go. That's my new string builder in here. Okay, the choice is yours. You can also, if you like, you can have it as the global variable in there. Okay, the choice is yours now. But if you want, you can move everything in here so they are both local variable. Okay, let's leave it all as local variable anyway. So, right in there, the next thing I'm going to do is use an if statement if. Before we use the if, let me just first of all, you see this search. I'm going to enter the following in there. Search dot append. Okay, you must do that first. So what I want you to append, I'm going to enter that in a, a quote. I want you to search for the following. So maybe I should use the following. Dots. Google dot co dot uk. Let's hope that will work. That will be map question h one equals e n and tab equals w one. Okay, let's hope that will work. Let's hope I've got the address right. Then we say if txt search dot text if it's equal to nothing and that is supposed to be string empty. Okay, if text dot txt dot text not equals to empty string then the following, I want the following to happen. The variable that has declared there, let's say postcode equals txt dot text dot replace. And what are we replacing? That will be whatever we have inside the empty. Okay, now string search dot append, and now we just append the postcode, whatever we have inside the postcode dot append postcode plus comma, and let's enter and in here, and we just say plus there that's it and that is all there is to it so what i'm going to do now is come right down here and just say um web browser one dot navigate dot navigate and that is going to be my string variable string search dot to string and that's all there is to it I'm going to run it before I carry out any other amendment. So let's come in here. I'll just do that for, for now. Let me just do that. Let's come in here. Let's enter. Or maybe underneath here. Let's enter try cache anyway. Okay. The purpose of the try cache is should in case if there's any error. So I'm going to just copy all of these and paste them right underneath here. Try cache. If there's any error, I would like you to generate the following message. So let's say message box dot show actually you should do the try cache first dots and we just say message there all right so if i run this system now click on control and just run it and see all right there we go that's the system ready now as you can see it's plain there's nothing in there so in there i'm now going to enter let's just enter one postcode w2 one and B. Okay, that's fine. Click on search. Let's see. There we go, guys. Look at that. Okay. So with that, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial. But just before I go, let me show you guys the lines of codes again. 
right there those are the simple lines of codes okay you must import the following library declare the following variable declare the following variable and use your try cache okay so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it have a nice day and bye for now